And on the back of the Express, there's a picture of Gareth Bale lifting the Champions League. And the headline is short and sweet. I live the dream. This is after Bale calls it a day, age 33, mm. back at the start. Golf, golf, golf in that order. Now any <laughs> tea. Now, any time is tea time as Bale gives football the boot. Of course, Gareth Bale retiring age 33. Ramon Calderon, mm. a man that knows him very well from the time around Madrid, joins us very shortly. I like this headline on the back of the sun. Off to the Eddie Hads. Two goal Arsenal oh, hero like Eddie Nketiah yeah. sets up a mouth watering FA Cup clash you, then, with yeah. Manchester City. You get it, Ali? Yeah. Good, good man. Brilliant. Um, but we've got to talk Chelsea, guys. There's quite a lot of different stories regarding Chelsea across the back pages. Back at the mail, the headline is <coughs> Carry On Potter. Chelsea's owners are convinced under fire manager Graham Potter is still the right man to lead them. There are concerns behind the scenes about some players not fully buying into Englishman's methods, but Potter has the owners backing. They're, of course, 10th in the Premier League after just one win in eight matches. That's back of the mail. Back of the Times, Tom Roddy says Chelsea have reached an agreement with Atletico Madrid to sign João Felix on loan. That's in a deal worth about £9 million as part of an attempt to strengthen Graham Potter's attack. And one more for you. This is a Matt Law exclusive in The Telegraph. He says Todd Bowley has relinquished his title as Chelsea's interim sporting director. Uh, Chelsea's co-controlling owner, Bowley, made himself interim sporting director after buying the club, but after hiring a new recruitment team, some of who have started working this month's transfer window, Bowley has dropped the sporting director title and is now just chairman. There's a lot going on at Chelsea. Mm. Let's start, guys, if we can, with Potter's future. Is it fair that whatever happens this season, even if their struggles continues and they finish 10th and don't win a trophy, does he need time? Does whatever happens does. this season, he deserves another transfer yes. window in the summer and time to build his team, Ali? 100%. Of course he deserves time. You just have to look across the city at Arteta. And that's, you know, that, that, there's the evidence that you need. <clears throat> there was all sorts of calls from, from from people saying, you know, Arteta's time was up, which, again, I thought was madness. He's been given a little bit of time. Um, and Arsenal are looking, you know, miles, miles better. They're not even looking as though they could win a, a cup competition. They're looking as though they can win the league. Mm. And they've got a good opportunity to win the league. So, no knee-jerk reactions. You know, you, you, no, <clears throat> the unfortunate thing is, now, the, the one... You know, thing that you're not given um, as a coach or manager is time. Um, there's Chelsea, along with the other clubs, have got absolutely no divine right to success. You've got to earn it. I mean, you get a new manager, surely he's got to implement his own ideas with his own staff and his own playing staff. I think that's only fair. So, yes, give the man time. 100%. And what do we think? You agree, yeah. And, and what do we think then about the other story in the back of the Times about João Felix, Ali? Um, See, that's an interesting one. The first yeah. thing I've got to say, I can't believe we're paying £9 million for a loan a now, loan, yeah, right? Yeah. And £9 million quid for a loan. This is what's happening. Absolute madness. I've told you, I, I said to you, I don't even know if it was on air or off here. I like João Felix. Mm. I don't think he's the answer to Chelsea's problems. Do they need an out and no, out number need a nine? Forward. Yeah, my agree. Need a centre forward. Plus, I don't think he's consistent enough. Yao Felix, you know, I, I, I watched him closely actually in the World Cup, and I thought he did some brilliant things. I thought he had one or two good games, but do you know that way he's one of these players for me. He just leaves you wanting a little bit more. What it did say to me was that club still has massive pull, be it the money, be it the reputation, be it anything. That club still has the, the pull to bring in the players that other teams in the Premier League are, are, fight, are vying for. Mm. Um, we don't know what happens with, with these negotiations, but I did look at it and I went, fair play, Chelsea, if that's, if that's mm. what you're managing to do. Nick players off other, other teams. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fair play to them. Yeah, so a lot going on. I said, back at the Times, Jean Felix for Chelsea. But a lot of the papers, Laura, reporting this morning that Chelsea are going to stick with Graham Potter wherever happens this season. Excellent. I think that's the right thing to do. Of course I it agree is. with you, Ali. It's Absolutely. Right. You, you've, got, you've got to build. It's not just Graham Potter that's new, it's also Todd Bowley. So, Todd Bowley's signings that he's made. He has to be responsible for some of those signings that aren't working at the moment. That's not Graham Potter. Graham is dealing with the hand that he's been dealt as it stands and all of those injuries as well. Um, his signings will come, hopefully. So, yeah. Uh, all right, then, Sammy. Thank well you. done. Well Thank done, you very Sam. much. 
Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.